أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وبارك وسلم السلام عليكم dear students I welcome you all once again to another lecture of business law lecture number 10 inshallah in this lecture we'll discuss lecture 2 of chapter number 5 which is breach of contract so let's see what does breach of contract mean let's discuss breach basically means violation or breaking or uh, not performing or refusing to perform the promise right so it is basically used for laws or rules and regulations so basically breach means violation of law violation of rule violation of regulation a breach of contract means when one party breaks the contract by refusing to perform his promise so the breach of contract takes place the breach of contract means to break the contract or not to act upon the contract when any party fails to perform its duties or deny to perform its duties or fails to perform its duties or is willing to perform the duties but not as it was promised or uh, not according to the promise so such uh, happenings are called breach of contract when a breach of contract takes place so one party is called injured party other party is called guilty party injured party is the party basically uh, first let's let's talk about the guilty party so guilty party is basically the party from whom uh, the breach has taken place and injured party is the one which is suffering losses due to the breach by the other party so uh, in, uh, uh, guilty party and inj uh, injured party there are two parties as a result of breach of contract now when there is breach to a contract by law the guilty party uh, is liable for the compensation of the remedies or to compensate the losses of the injured party now let's talk about what remedies are available for the injured party to recover his losses or for losses to be for his losses to be compensated by the guilty party what is the legal way so here the uh, remedies basically mean the compensation of the losses to aggrieved party aggrieved party or injured party they mean the same so these are the ways first suit for recession suit for damages suit upon quantum merit suit for specific performance and suit for injunction so the first legal way available for the injured or the aggrieved party uh, for him to be able to uh, uh, claim his losses uh, or compensate his losses from the guilty party is he will go ahead for suit for uh, recession right in suit for recession uh, he will uh, prove himself to be not guilty and to be aggrieved or save uh, said party and the law will decide this year yes he is not he is no more responsible for the performance of the contract because uh, the contract has been breached by the uh, guilty party and he is suffering from losses as a result of those uh, 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 those breaches right so that's that that's possible with the help of suit for recession once the suit for recession has been done and successfully uh, won uh, by the uh, aggrieved party or or we can say the sad party the, or the injured party then he he can go ahead and claim uh, for the damages the compensation of the damages 
which we will inshallah discuss one by one later on. So now let's first talk about this word for recession. Recession means cancellation of contract. When one of the parties breaks the contract, the party, the other party is released free from his obligation and the contract. But he, this will happen through the court of law. If, for example, if you, if you are in a contract with one of, when, uh, when some, with someone, and that person breaches the contract, what happens that we'll go to the court and sue him for the recession of the contract where we will uh, cancel the contract and we will say we are not no more obliged to perform our duties because of the breach from the other side and then once the in the court we prove it to be right to be correct then we can we are entitled uh, for the compensation of our losses as a result of this breach If the aggrieved party wants to sue the guilty party for the damages of breach of contract, he must sue for recession of the contract. When the court grants or allows recession, the aggrieved party is free from his obligation and becomes entitled to compensation. And this is, is for the section 75 of the contract law. Right? And there is an example. Ahmad contracts to supply cement to Bilal on 15th April. Bilal agrees to pay the price on the, res on the receipt of the goods. A does not supply on the due date. B is discharged from the liability to pay. B can rescind or cancel the claim and claim for damages. Right? So this is how it goes. Once we have won the recession, then we can go ahead and claim for, for damages. That's called sued for damages. Now, the aggrieved party may sue for damages. Damages are, what are damage? Damage is, is basically the monetary compensation allowed to the injured party for the losses suffered by him as a result of the breach of contract. In case of breach of contract, the aggrieved party can claim the following damages. It's as per the section 73 of the contract law. Now, there are four types of damages, right? First, claim should be for the ordinary damages and then for special damages and then for exemplary and then for liquidated damages uh, uh, mostly uh, first two a and b ordinary and special damages they happen most of the times exemplary damage is uh, um, ex uh, very uncommon and very less and liquidated damage is totally dependent to the uh, terms and conditions of the contract now let's talk about each damage one by one. What is ordinary damage? They are also called general damages. When a contract is broken, the aggrieved party can recover ordinary damages from the guilty party, and ordinary damages are usually assessed on the base on the basis of actual loss. In a contract of sales of goods, the damages payable are the difference between the contract price and the market price at the date of the breach. That's section 73. So basically, ordinary damages are actual damages which are calculated by the by the law, by the court based on the paper and the uh, and evidences, physical evidences, and the actual uh, uh, damages paid by the guilty party to the aggrieved party. Okay, uh, there is an example. H delivered the shaft pipe to B Bilal, a carrier, to take it to the manufacturer as a pattern for a new one he did not tell me that delay would be result in loss of profits the delivery of shaft was delayed and the mill remained closed for a long period he sued B for the profits uh, held that B was not liable for the for loss of profits the ordinary damages were awarded so the ordinary damage was paid but the special damages were not paid because he was not aware of uh, those special damages now let's go ahead and talk about these special damages these damages arise under some special circumstances these damages include indirect loss which may arise due to the breach of contract uh, ordinary damage is basically the direct loss the, or the actual loss special damages uh, indirect loss these damages include indirect losses which may arise due to breach of contract so <coughs> the parties must be aware of loss 
which may arise from the breach of contract. This is like technicality in this case that we have to inform the other party for all the situations and the circumstances for special to be able to claim for the special damages apart from the ordinary or actual damages or the direct damages. The notice to uh, this effect must have been given to the party means we have to inform uh, we have to give the knowledge about this to the other party and then uh, we are able to claim in case of breach. Okay, there is an example. S delivered his sample to NWR Corporation for exhibition at Newcastle. He wrote on a, uh, on consignment must be at Newcastle uh, on Monday uh, certain due to the negligence the goods reached after the show. The corporation was uh, aware of the project of uh, carrying the goods held as could claim the special damages and this was decided that S could, cl uh, could claim the special damages because he was made aware of the, the corporation was made aware that this is exhibition and if you uh, are uh, failed to deliver me the goods on that special specific day I will not only held the indirect losses direct losses but there will be some indirect losses because the people to whom I have promised um, they will uh, lose their trust on me so indirect losses will also uh, c uh, cause me harm so it was decided that the corporation is um, liable or to pay not only for the direct losses but for the indirect losses as well next we have is exemplary damages these damages are awarded to punish the guilty party for the breach of contract this these are exemplary damages they are as uh, um, determined by the court in order to punish the guilty party so this mistake could not be repeated again in the future the breach of contract result in monetary loss to the aggrieved party and causes disappointment exemplary damages have no place in the law of contract and are not recoverable they are awarded under the following cases in case of breach of contract to marry the amount of damage depend upon the extent of injury to the feelings of the party so this is basically when our feelings are hurt by the breach of the contract then we can claim such type of damages and there are the cases or the first case is mar uh, marital contract the second case is uh, in case of a uh, dishonor checked by a bank when there are some there are sufficient funds to the credit to the of the customer according to the rule smaller the check dishonored the greater the damage so uh, means it totally depends on the situation in a situation where our feelings are hurt we can then claim for the exemplary damages at well as well if our feelings are not hurt by the breach of the contract then we cannot claim for exemplary damages but usually we claim for all four type of damages then uh, court decides what damages uh, uh, are compensated and what are not compensated liquidated damage from the name you can see when in the terms of contract there is a special amount uh, determined amount of money liquidated of, uh, with a condition that if any of the uh, contractual parties uh, does not fulfill to uh, perform his part of promise uh, and this will be the charge such uh, 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 determined amount of money uh, put in condition or call liquidated damages and uh, when there is such thing in a contract then we, we can also claim uh, those uh, uh, liquidated uh, amounts or, or determined amount of money uh, from the guilty party as well when parties to a contract fix the amount of damages for the breach of contract at the time of formation of the contract such damages are called liquidated damages where a sum is agreed in the contract to be paid by the default party defaulting party in case of breach of contract the court will allow the reasonable damage not exceeding the amount already agreed if the actual loss is more than the agreed amount damages will be payable to the agreed amount and that's as per the uh, section 74 of the uh, contract law right and next we have 
uh, there are examples of uh, these two uh, of three and four uh, three was um, exemplary damage and four was liquidated damage now number three is suit upon quantum merit number three of what number three of the following uh, of the of the way of uh, claiming for uh, for remedies right we discussed about the suit for recession we discussed about the suit for damages where were four types of damages then now it's number three suit upon quantum merit then we'll have suit for specific performance and suit for injunction now let's talk about suit for quantum merit the term quantum merit means payment in portion to the work done a reasonable value of work done when a person has done some work under a contract and the other party cancels the contract or an event happens which makes the performance of the contract impossible such party can claim the reimbursement or remuneration uh, for the work already done for example there is a contract between two parties where one party has pays, paid advance money to the other party to perform a certain work other party has performed a certain work uh, the, the, that work up to 50 percent and 50 percent is remaining and a situation happens where the performance of the uh, remaining work is impossible in such cases the 50 percent money should be reimbursed so that's called quantum merit in other case for example someone uh, has promised to pay a certain amount uh, to other person another person has uh, based on the promise he has performed some work and the work is not complete it's performed for example up to 40 percent and a situation happens where the performance is not possible now what will happen that the person who has performed work can demand uh, his remuneration for the work done which is 40 percent right so this is called suit upon quantum merit <coughs> so there are uh, cases for 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 quantum merit when agreement becomes subsequently void when there is a promise to render service but no agreement about remuneration for example uh, the f the value was not fixed now we can claim to the court and court would decide the exact value if we cannot agree to one another when something where something is uh, done without any intention to do so uh, so unnecessarily in such cases we can also demand the qu uh, quantum merit when the completion of contract is prevented by the other party for example I want to do my, my, my work that I've promised but other party cancels that then I am uh, I can demand the perf I mean the remuneration of what I have already performed so that's called quantum merit it's not like he will just cancel the contract and I will not receive any benefit of what work I have done there is suit for specific performance specific performance means the actual carrying out of the contract by a party in some cases uh, claiming the damages is not like uh, adequate for uh, to compensate the losses of the aggrieved party in such cases uh, the aggrieved party may uh, 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 sue the guilty party for specific performance means through the court uh, the aggrieved party will will uh, force the guilty party to perform his promise rather to pay for the losses right um, for example uh, one of the actors they agree to a TV uh, television TV station that on a certain date uh, he will uh, appear on that TV and will perform a show so for that show the TV has already done some marketing and has spent uh, and also uh, has done a lot of advertising now later on the person denies to 
appear on that show on that specific date so here if the person agrees to pay a lot of money to the te television uh, so this will not just fulfill the uh, the remedy or I mean, compensate the lo loss that television is has has faced because television will uh, will, will lose its viewers and goodwill in the market so in such cases television will go for suit for a specific performance and through the court of law uh, television will push the person to appear on that exact date on that TV show right so that's uh, about the suit for specific performance a suit for injunction injunction is an order of court preventing a person from doing something which he promised not to do it is made of uh, securing specific performance in the negative form it is preventive or pro protective relief it's a discretionary or optional remedy of the court it is appropriate in case of anticipatory breach of contract uh, for example we do a contract with the one of the say TV uh, anchors and we take from him a promise that he will not run any show any such shows for five years in any television in Afghanistan and he agrees right later on he uh, decides to change his mind so in such cases we will go for suit for injunction and th through the court of law we will push him not to uh, appear on any other television but to stick to his promise which was not to do an action right so there are examples here you can read it for yourselves for both number five and uh, examples for number four here examples for number five there are two examples here so that's all about our breach of contract hope we, you guys have learned things from this lecture and I thank you all for being with me uh, before I say goodbye to you let's wind up this lecture we had discussion on the uh, uh, breach of contract and we said that when there is a breach of contract there is guilty party and aggrieved party guilty party is the one who has made the breach aggrieved party is the one who is facing the losses due to the breach so there there are following remedies available by the law to the aggrieved party for the compensation of the losses the first one is suit for recession suit for damages suit of upon quantum merit suit for specific performance and suit for injunction suit for recession is the first step in this uh, the aggrieved party will prove in the court of law that he is not liable to perform any action and because he is not guilty and uh, he has no responsibility to carry on the contract when law grants him recession then he'll be able to uh, 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 go ahead for the compensation of the damages so first suit he will do will be he will sue the guilty party for suit for damages and damages are of four types <coughs> ordinary damage or actual damage uh, special damage and in or indirect damages uh, exemplary damages and liquidated damages third one is suit upon quantum merit if a part of promises performed by one uh, party the other party has to reimburse the remuneration right or pay the remuneration for the work done that's called suit upon quantum merit suit for specific specific performance one has promised to do something and later on he denies then and 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 if he pay for damages and those damages uh, the payment for for those for those damages can damages cannot compensate uh, the loss then uh, through the court of law we push that person to perform whatever he has promised that called suit for specific performance next we have suit for injunction injunction means stop someone to do something uh, for which he has promised not to do right so these were five types of remedies available for the aggrieved party to go ahead and compensate his losses due to the breach by the other party thank you so much for being with me God bless all of you. I'll see you next time. 
and bye for now. Assalamu alaikum.